Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Saturday the 7th of September 2024. I hope you are enjoying your weekend. It's a bright and sunny one here in Bangkok. Uh, I'm having a nice day. Uh, and uh, uh, I'm of, not of the view that ignorance is bliss, a phrase often heard uh, in the English language. Uh, I, I don't think it's true in general. Generally speaking, I think the more we know, the happier we should be, uh, I think um, total knowledge is bliss, <laughs> but um, of course we can always find exceptions. And what I was thinking was uh, language could be one of those things. I say this because I mentioned in my early video this morning that uh, Sergio Mendes is no longer with us. And I've been playing some old Sergio Mendes tracks today and that led me on to some other Brazilian music, which I totally adore. I absolutely love Brazilian music. It is fantastic. Jazz in particular, but all kinds of Brazilian music. Samba as well uh, is wonderful. And um, I can't understand a word of it because I can't speak a word of Portuguese. Uh, but I think it sounds like a beautiful language. I have no idea if the accent of Brazil is very different from the people in Portugal. I have no idea. I wouldn't be able to tell you. I, I assume that it is different. Um, but like like Mexican Spanish is different from the people in in Spain. I, I'm assuming, um, just generally speaking, because accents are usually based on locality, uh, local areas, and stuff like that. So, um, but anyway, the Portuguese language is wonderful, and I think it sounds really beautiful. Uh, it, and uh, you know, I often wonder. I have no. The the good thing is, I say ignorance is bliss because they could be singing about, you know. I had toast and jam for breakfast this morning, but I imagine they're singing about Copacabana Beach or something like that, <laughs> or maybe the mountains above Rio or whatever. Uh, I just don't know. But <laughs> anyway, it's nice. Uh, and I noticed that. Um, so to talk about how ignorance uh, can be bliss, uh, I, I mentioned this as well because uh, I've been in Thailand for a very long time. The first time I ever heard the Thai language must have been 37 years ago. And to me, it sounded like singing. When I heard the Thai people speaking Thai, when I first came here as a tourist, I thought, wow, that's a beautiful sounding language. I love the way it's kind of sung, you know, because to Thai is a tonal language. There are five separate tones. So one word could have five different meanings, the way, depending on how you pronounce it, um, which makes it difficult to learn for Westerners, I guess. But anyway, it always sounded so beautiful. The, the thing is, though, uh, once I'd been here and learnt to speak Thai and thinking the la Thai language, the music disappeared. I, I don't hear the music anymore because all I hear are words. You know, when people speak to Thai to me, I hear the words and understand the meaning implicitly. I don't kind of translate in my head usually. Uh, and that means that there is no more music. So the music has gone. So therefore, ignorance might be bliss sometimes. Shall we get on with the Los Angeles t uh, Times Sudoku puzzle. This is their expert level game for today. I see the eights blocking like this. That's going to give me an eight there. And I see these fours blocking those squares. That's going to give me a four there. Those are a couple of things that I noticed. Uh, what else is happening? Sixes across here and there. And down and up will give us six in that square. There's a triple here, I think, 5, 3, and 9 blocking across here puts 5, 3, and 9 in those squares and leaves me here with a 1, 7. Does that do anything for me? Puts 1s into those squares, 1s over there, 7s up there. Oh, 7, we can get down here like this. Okay, 7. So we have got 7 in one of these two squares here, blocking across here, 7 across here. And seven up there, and that will give me a seven there. Four and eight block across here. That puts four and eight into those squares. When we have the one blocking there, there's our one. And the square that is not four or eight is a two. Nine comes up and blocks this square, so that will be our nine. Missing digit here, three.
and and relax. <laughs> um, Oh, hang on a second. Five and three across here, right? Oh no, I'm going to forget that. This is going to be five and three. That means nothing, does it? And this is going to be one and seven, which also really means nothing. It just means one is in one of those squares. That's all. Okay, shall we wander around the grid looking for tasty treats? down here and here so one and two here so one blocking across there and one across there and one down there gives us a digit one uh, will the two do anything no not really Missing digits across here, two, four, nine. We've got four and nine in the same column. That will be a two. Shall we continue our perambulation? Uh, okay, we've got eight blocking this square, this square, and this square. So in this column, there's the location of eight. Nine down to the bottom here and across the bottom row. There's a nine, nine this way, this way, there's a nine. This will be a four, won't it? Four blocking up there, there's our four missing digit here, eight. Eight across here, eight up here, eight down there. I think there's an eight at the top here. There was indeed. In fact, that was the final digit, eight. Uh, one of our missing digits here is 2, you agree, so 2 blocks this square and 7 blocks this square, so 2 and 7 will be up there, uh, leaving us with uh, 6 in that square there. 6 up, 6 up and 6 across here, so there's our 6, 6 across here, across there and up there, so 6 is now finished.
what did I say? Two and seven in those squares. Can we do anything else? Uh, yeah, okay, so we've got five blocking across here, uh, which puts five into one of these two squares. So blocking down here, five. Oh, no, I thought five was in one of those squares. No, I'm wrong. That's five is there. Never mind, I can get... Not do that. <laughs> Sorry, I've gone insane. This is one and two. Sorry about that. Confusing you. Confusing myself. Maybe we should look at this bottom row. We've got one and two in those squares, so we're looking for three, four, five left. Now we've got four blocking there and four blocking there. So that's the four. And we have three, five in those squares there. And we certainly could have three or five. Um, five and three block across here, so that's five and three. So one is in one of these two squares here. So this can't be one, right? That puts one into those squares up there for sure. And remember, one is blocking across here. So one has to be in one of these two squares here. And the nine blocks across here. So that's a pair of one and nine like this. Uh, leaving us with two and four here. Does that do anything? Mm. Two and four. One, two. Oh no, maybe not. I thought that was leading to something, but just exploring there. But no, it did not. Did not get to anything. Ah, but this is the only spot in the top row for a one because we've got one blocking. I said one is limited to these two squares, right? This one blocks those squares. One blocks this square here, so that has to be a one there. So we did find something from it. And this was two four. That's got to be two four. I also know that this can't be two or four. Shall we explore? No, let's not bother because I can see that it could be a three. No, it could be a seven or a nine. So let's not bother exploring. Uh, let's take the advice of the Doobie Brothers and let's go round again. Keep seeing things that are not there. 
My eyes are going bad. Ah, found it. Okay, so we got five across here and five up here. So five is in one of these two squares and two is in this column. So two and five block down there. That means that's two and five. This has to be three. Three blocks up here, three blocks up there. There is our three. Missing digits down here are three, five and nine. Three and five are in the same row. That must be our nine. Nine across here, nine across there. And nine up there says you you are a nine. Uh, we haven't finished nine. Why not? Oh, there's nine down, nine up. There's a nine. That's the final digit nine. Now I can get this because I earlier worked out what goes here. This was five and three blocking across here wasn't it so five and three are there this has to be a one now one blocks down there there's a one there's a two two blocks up there there's a two missing digit four four going upwards there's our four four this way four up there there's a four fours are finished one more to get here seven i think that is and seven across here and up there so there's our seven seven across here and there there's a seven seven down here and across there there's a seven missing digit here one uh, one up here and up there one is now finished two blocks up here that gives us two in that square two blocking across here says you're a two two across there that gives us two there we also have two across the bottom here giving us two the last digit down here is a five five blocks across here here's the five we'll chase it upwards oh sorry sorry forgot to click on this I was getting so excited there five there five across there's our five and we've got many threes to fill in many rivers to cross many threes to fill in there we are they're all done now though that's it that's the uh, Los Angeles Times expert level over for a Saturday and I hope to see you around over the weekend uh, and as you enjoy your life and I enjoy mine take care bye bye